friends, today we are checking out a pair of sunglasses from the Enemy Line, which is owned by Mr. Aaron Marino. What's up, gentlemen? Now, before I get into this review, I just want to say that this is in no way a video sponsor or bias towards Aaron. I paid for these sunglasses with my own grandma's birthday money, and everything is just my opinion and experience. So, let's just get into the review. So, Enemy. Why the name Enemy? I always question the name of Aaron's companies because it's so unpredictable, but having the name Enemy makes sense in the industry that he's now in. Now, all of the eyewear you see in storage is owned and manufactured by the same company called Luxottica. They practically own and control the entire eyewear market. I'll leave a link down below if you would like to learn more about this. Very interesting coverage done by 60 Minutes. So. Aaron's reason to start such a company is to rival the designer brands in terms of quality and style, but offering them a much more affordable price. And we're about to find that out if these are worth the price that he's asking for. I also want to say that I purchased these while there was a big sale going on and I decided to pull the trigger on the Enemy 2s, which is a Clubmaster model. But first, let's go into the packaging. The sunglasses came double box with both boxes having a simple minimal design. It reminded me a lot of the Tom Ford packaging, especially the giant velvet uh, case. I think it's the exact same size as well. So kudos to Aaron for giving these like uh, the luxury packaging. Now taking a closer look at the Enemy O2s, you would notice that it is a classic Clubmaster model, but they differentiate themselves with their subtle signature design on the sides of the frame and at the end of the legs. Now what interested me the most was the materials used to create these sunglasses. Now starting at the frames, they use Masocelli Italian Acetate, which is the highest quality of acetate in the eyewear market. Now this company, you know, it goes back to like the 1800s that originally started manufacturing in Italy, but they also have some factories in China, which would explain why these were being made in China, or maybe they just imported it from Italy. I don't know. Now as for the lenses, they were manufactured by Zeiss Optics, which is a leading manufacturer for high-end photography lenses, hunting optics, and even face shields for NASA. So just by going off these specs, I can see that effort was done when it came to sourcing materials. It's not like your run-of-the-mill Alibaba product that's already pre-made, and all you have to do is just slap your logo on it. Now as for my first impression of these sunglasses, they felt good right out of the box. They feel light, sturdy, and I really love the spring hinges, which gives me a close fit without you know being too tight. One habit that I have whenever I'm about to put my sunglasses on, especially when I'm driving, is I always go like this. I always put like one leg in and then the other side. And with the spring hinges, I have no problem with that. Like I feel no pain or scratching at all. Now here I have my Ray-Bans. This, these do not have spring hinges, but these are scratched. Like it scratches, you know, both of my temples because it doesn't fit perfectly for my face. And there you go. See, I have to sometimes stretch it, not bad, but it's a little scratchy on the temple. So those spring hinges really, really make a difference in terms of like comfort. I also want to note that I purchased the standard size sunglasses, but they also have an XL version for every model, I believe. But let's move on to value. For $95, do I feel it's worth it? I would say yes, but I know so many people will question themselves on just spending a little extra more on a brand that has some heritage, for example, Ray-Ban. Now I had these Ray-Bans for eight years now, held up great so far, no issues, paid 160 bucks for them. Now I can't say much about the longevity of these because I just got them, but you can also get them discounted by using one of the codes Aaron has on his channel, or I'll see if I could get one made for you guys. I don't know, we'll see if he'll give me a code. Overall, I think Aaron did a good job with these. From my experience of purchasing products from him in the past, I can say that he doesn't cut corners when his name is on something. And he not only brings you know value, but he also provides great customer service, and I think this is why he is so successful at building businesses. Once again, this is my honest first take on this product, not a fanboy review of me just putting on the sunglasses and saying they're dope and ended there. I know people are gonna dislike this video just because it's Aaron, and I don't always agree on the type of content he puts out, but this video is all about the product, not Aaron. But anyways, guys, that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys for watching once again. Please make sure to like this video, and if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe because more new videos are coming. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.